All right, guys. Welcome back to another uh, deck profile. Today we are going to be looking at Vikavolt. Um, we're going to start be look looking at um, uh, decks that have not been played in the tournament at the time of this video. So keep in mind that um, right now most of this de most of these decks don't have uh, very much testing uh, gone into them. Um, so yes, one of the big problems with Vikavolt right now, mind you, this will probably change in the next 365 days. Um, but the biggest problem with Vikavolt is that there's actually only one Charger Bug and one Grubbin that are actually ever printed. There aren't any of these cards. But there are two Vikavolts, and both of them are very, very good. Um, so you may ask yourself, well, the one, well, then why aren't you just playing uh, one over the other and just like focusing on the GX or focusing it on this uh, Vikavolt here? Uh, and the reason is, is because it's kind of, mm, I mean, there's kind of two reasons behind it. One of them is that I couldn't really decide which one to build it around. I think this Vikavolt's a little bit better. But then again, this Vikavolt, the Vikavolt GX in E150 is incredibly strong. Um, being able to do uh, 60 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon is busted as a GX attack. Like, crazy good. Uh, 50 in accelerated energy, awesome. Uh, especially since you can do it with a lightning energy, like let's say you take a knockout with a 50, and then you attach next turn a DCE, you get control of action 60, swipe their board. Um, seems pretty good, so um, that's why I want to play both. Uh, stuff like um, uh, recovery options are going to be really big, because I think what you're going to end up doing is use this for the early part of the game, because that GX Evolve um, during the early stages isn't really going to be much of an issue. So you get this out early, and then once this gets knocked out, there's going to be a really pivotal turn where you're going to try to get both of these back with broken time space and get back into this to keep attacking. Or, if this stays alive for long enough, um, uh, just m putting your manual attachments on your bench Pokemon uh, and then just using Charge Beam over and over again. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways you can go about this, but this is one of the biggest issues with the deck. Just to let you know. So, it is a 1-1-1 one, one, one line. 1-1... One, one, two line, which is very odd, but we are playing a lot of the best uh, grass and uh, lightning attackers in the game, just as a kind of a su support option. Uh, well, when I say best grass, there's actually only two. We're going to play Tropius and Shaman EX. Um, there's a lot of base, like I said, it's going to play a lot of basics that um, uh, take advantage of strong charge, and both these are the way to go. If you have strong charge in play, charging these up in one, in one foul swoop isn't that hard to do. Um, so you have both of those. Keep in mind, both of them are resistance to fighting. Uh, the rest of these are all... Oh, no, there's a couple that are also resistant to fighting. Um, but you do have a couple of resistance to fighting that aren't lightning type. Uh, we're going to play Raikou EX, being able to charge this guy up, putting as many lightning energies on there um, as you can. This is what you're probably going to manually attach to. Just sit them on your bench, manually attach. And the rest of the stuff's going to be strong, uh, strong charged too. Uh, we're also going to play uh, Pikachu EX. You're not going to get a whole lot of use out of this because... You know, you're only accelerating one lightning per turn, but it is one of those ones where you can put it on the bench, attach, and kind of wait for it. Uh, Amolga EX, one of the best, if you're playing lightning energies, like Amolga EX is like by and far one of the best Pokemon just to play in general. So I recommend that for that uh, turn two 90 damage. Zapdos ES for Snipe, and it is resistant to fighting, same with Amolga, so you don't have that fighting weakness that most lightning decks do. Uh, Tapu Koko GX, this is charged up in one... Uh, in one strong charge, you can go flying flip, which is awesome. And then the next turn, you or you, you can even charge a Bludger Ball in one false swoop by attaching a lightning and then strong charging to it and doing 100 damage on an on EX. Um, flying flip is also going to be very useful to weaken some stuff up so that Gigatron GX does take knockouts. And then we also are playing a 1 1 Zep Strike Align. Uh, this card has proven itself in decks that. Um, like in Magna Zone, for instance, Disconnect can be just a, a brutal attack. So playing a 1-1 one, one of this and being able to charge it up uh, right away, like being able to go Broken Time Space, Blitzel, Zip Strike, uh, Strong Charge, um, can kind of shut your opponent out of games. So that's it for the uh, support Pokemon. It's a lot of, like I said, uh, it's just the best Lightning and Grass attackers in the game, uh, plus this grossness. So I think this deck gets, a, like, gets way better when uh, you are allowed to play multiple Charger Bugs and Grubbins, I think if you were to play like a 2-2-2 line here, it would be much, much better um, so that you don't have to like decide between this early. Like, this is probably not going to get played in many games, but the ones that this does carry you, um, it'll be very, very worth it. Um, so that's it for those. We are playing support Pokemon. We are going to play the standard 10. 
you're going to be looking at the the one one clay doll belt away uh, the 2-2 two, two, Porygon 2 line, the Lapras, Uxie, Dunsparce, and Spiritomb as well. Um, you could, this is one of those decks that you could consider playing um, Porygon Z because of um, Vicavolt GX's attack, uh, or GX attack being due to 60 everything. 60 is not going to kill Porygons or Clay Dolls or anything like that. Um, but if you um, Porygon Z and then do it, then yes, that, that GX attack is going to be very, very handy. So, Porygon Z is one you consider. I am not playing it here strictly because it's not the focus of the of the deck to do that attack, um, but you could build the deck with that in mind. Um, with that in mind, Dusknor would also be good in this deck as like a 1 0 1 line. Um, you're just really focusing on that Gigatron GX attack. So. I, I left this uh, deck open to have kind of different options instead of just streamlining the Gigatron GX. Moving on to supporters, a lot of this rest of the stuff is going to be fairly staple. Um, how do they think about this deck more and more? I think that we could have built this way, way differently. Um, Alright, so we have AZ, Bebe Search, Colrus, and Copycat. All pretty standard looking stuff there. Uh, Guzma and Hex. All standard, but we are actually going to be playing one Iris in this deck as well. Um, this deck needs to go in. This card needs to go in like almost every deck now. Uh, when I built these decks initially, it wasn't included in many, but this deck or this deck did have it in there um, because it has uh, capabilities to one shot. Plus, taking a knockout with like disconnect late game with Iris, super good. So there is that. Uh, Karina, we are playing a Judge, strictly because your acceleration is coming from board, not from hand. With Energy Rainers, you need to have all that energy in your hand and, and whatnot, but with, with uh, Vicavolt, it's already on board, and it comes from your deck, not your discard, and you get two of them. So, like, Judge makes sense because all the stuff you need is already going to be in play. Lysander and Lysander's Trump card, Marley's Request, very good card. And we are playing a Mallow, um, Mallow or Oracle. Pokemon Collector. Juniper, Oaks, Sycamore, this row always stays kind of standard. Same with Rockets Admin on the end there. Rosies, Skyla, Teammates, and Wally. All kind of standard stuff. Judge is the only one that's a little bit not standard because the shuffle to four on your side it doesn't actually end up hurting you at all. Um, or not as much as it would in other decks. Because like I said, the acceleration comes from field, not from, uh, from hand or discard. Moving on to items. Doop, 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 doop. I'm going to fan these guys out here. Um, uh, Acrobike. There's some stuff that you don't mind discarding because of the, like, you know, there's a lot of Pokemon in here that you don't necessarily need, so Acrobike's fine to get rid of. Bill, good card. Computer Search, Escape Rope, Evo Soda, just all staple standard stuff. Imposter Oaks Invention, a very, very good card. Item Finder and Junk Arm, one of the two of the best items in the game. Level Ball, Luxury Ball. We are playing a Max Potion because this deck does have Acceleration. Um... I think Max Potion can go in any deck that you only have a one energy attachment, or a deck that has an energy rain, or some form of alternate acceleration, Max Potion can be played. Uh, Misty's Wrath, you play a nightly garbage run, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of the recovery options here. Um, we are playing a nightly garbage run, we are playing a super rod, we are playing a Pokemon Retriever. This deck could probably use a rescue stretcher as well, but we want to get not only the, the Vicavolt line back in when, when your GX dies early, um, but this is a great way to get energies back into the deck. You need both of these um, because your acceleration comes from the deck, not the discard. Once those energies hit the discard, you want to be able to put them back so you can accelerate them. Um, we don't play an energy recycler, but it is another option you can consider if you're leaning more on the energy uh, recycling, pun not intended. Uh, Palpad, Pecom for search, uh, Oaks, we are going to be playing a breeder, um, that is the only one we're playing, we're not playing a rare candy as well, um, just because you're only playing the one stage two, so one breeder's fine. Uh, scoop up, secret mission, kind of burn through your deck and discard stuff you don't need. Um, I think secret mission gets buffed a little bit with energy recycler if we decide to play it, um, so that's one thing you could consider. We are playing Surprise, Time Machine, and Swoop Teleporter. Uh, surprise, so you can switch the Vicavolts if your GX, um, if you need to not have your GX out early, then, you know, Surprise, Swoop it, you know, that sort of thing. Switch for extra retreat, Ultra Ball versus Seeker, and Windstorm to round it out. Uh, kind of standard stuff. You do have a little bit extra recovery um, for both energies and and um, and not. If you wanted to play the, uh, 
the, the stretcher, I would recommend switching this to stretcher and then adding that energy recycler somewhere. Uh, I don't really know what I would uh, take off. So, moving on to stadiums. Oopsies. I almost dropped all the cards that I had here. Moving on, we have uh, Skyfield, Broken Time Space, and Rough Seas. Rough Seas is going to be great to tank with stuff like Raikou. Um, and then obviously Broken Time Space to get into your support Pokemon and your Vickervolt quicker. And then Skyfield, strictly because we have a lot of different uh, options on our bench, um, we want to make sure to have those options at any point. You could um, you could go without Skyfield, to be honest. Uh, this could be your energy recycler spot if you don't like the idea of Skyfield in this deck. Tools, we are playing Fluffy Berry, Floatstone, Muscle Band. The other tool that you could consider is Fighting Fury Belt because it's mostly basics. Um, but, you know, the standard heavy retreat cost guys getting those out of there, plus your Muscle Band. Um, pretty standard stuff there. One, two, three, four, uh, and five, sorry. The Elite Four, no reason not to play any of them. Uh, plus your Dowsing Machine, pretty uh, self explanatory there. And then moving on to energy is pretty simple. It's just going to be a DCE. Uh, double Rainbow is not going to be useful in this deck because your two evolutions you're attacking with. Or Double Rainbow actually would be useful in one scenario. So you can't attach Double Rainbow to Vicavolt or Vicavolt GX because they're considered those EXs. But you could attach it to your Zip Striker. So if you were hex locked and you needed to get Zip Striker out, Double Rainbow would be the only way to do it in one turn. Um, but it is a very, very specific scenario. Um, you can consider it if you want to. We're going to go three six nine lightnings and then three six grass it's more important to have lightning because there are more lightning attackers but still having that grass energy to accelerate um for the uh colorless energy cost in most of your attacks is still important so we do still want to play a high number of them it scares me to go 10 5 uh just because your these grass energies are going to end up either on the field by manual attachments or whatnot um i think having nine is more than enough here so yes if you have any questions uh please let me know if not, hope you enjoyed Vicavolt, and we'll see you next video.